Okay, let's take a look at finding the population standard deviation in R. Now, as far as I know, there's no um, no function for this, so we're going to write our own. <coughs> Not a function, but write our own program. Just to refresh your memory, for the population standard deviation, it's going to equal to the square root of the sum. So I could make a sum signal, <laughs> sum symbol, of x minus mu squared divided by m. So that's what we're going to be implementing. And um, let me create a new script. And I'll save it. I'll call it population standard deviation.r. <clears throat> okay, now I want to bring in my data, and I might as well just go ahead and put in the x since my that's what my formula is saying. So uh, let's see what numbers I'm bringing. 13, 19, 23, 13, 19, 23, 31, 45, 46, 47, 51, and 53. Okay. First off, from our formula, we need the mean. So let's get that. So I'm going to say x bar is equal to mean of x. Now that's going to give us the um, this mu right here. Um, actually, let me, let me actually say mu. Okay, mu. I was afraid it might be a reserved word, but we'll see. Okay, now I'm going to need to sum x minus uh, mu squared. So, I'm going to say the total is equal to the sum of, um, and I'm going to do a, um, another beginning parentheses, then my x minus mu, close parentheses, and then care 2 for the squared, and then close parentheses on the sum. <coughs> that should give me this top part. Now I want to uh, calculate population standard deviation. So population standard deviation is going to equal the square root. And then I'm going to have my total divided by the length of x. Now length of x is a function of return how many numbers are in there. And uh, that would correspond with our uppercase n. How many numbers we have. We don't subtract 1. You subtract 1 when you're talking about the sample standard deviation. Now let me print population standard deviation, and let's see what kind of errors I have. So I'm going to do an edit, uh, run all, and let me change the console, and let me tile these, um, oh, vertically, I guess. <laughs> that didn't tile it very good. Go to the console. And you see we got 14.24 uh, um, if I rounded two decimal places. Well, now that I have this script written, um, the only thing I ever have to do is if I'm asked to find the population standard deviation, all I have to do is come in here and change these numbers. So I'd encourage you to recreate this, um, uh, recreate this program uh, so that you can just keep reusing it and not write it um, brand new each time. In this uh, video, we took a look at how to calculate the population standard deviation using the R language.